Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight I'm sitting here on my computer, in my computer room, and I just found out um, about this new game for the Amiga computers. It was just released uh, this year, 2024. The name of the game is Dr. Dangerous. Secrets of the Temple of Zoltan Amiga Final Release. Okay. Um, it looks like a very interesting game. So I'm, I'm thinking very seriously about buying it. Because I like nice looking platform games like this. I'm just wondering how I can go about getting the game in its original box like that. I'd be willing to pay for that. Anyway, okay, so, okay, download now, name your own price. Well, let me scroll all the way down. Take a look at the screenshots. I do plan on showing this game uh, on real Amiga hardware. Um, in this video so right now I'm just on the main page here and people are showing their screenshots of what the game looks like and they're talking about it it looks like it's a fun game how I found out about this game was I was watching a video on YouTube where someone was was showing this this uh, this game so, yeah. Yeah, it looks like a lot of people are interested in this game. A lot of people left comments. You know, so... Okay, download now. Okay, this game is free, but the developer accepts your support by letting you pay what you think is fair for the game. So... Um, I'm going to pay $5, okay, so 5.00, I'll give them a little bit of money, you know, it takes time to make games like this, you know, your email address, your payment confirmation will be sent here. Okay, I'm going to turn off the recording because now I'm, I'm going to be entering uh, private information and I'll be right back after I finish uh, purchasing the game. All right, here I am on the download page, and um, I downloaded and tried out the PAL version, which is this one here. In fact, I think all of these are PAL. And also the new NTSC version. And the NTSC version has uh, graphics glitches. So I do not recommend that one at this time. I'm hoping that um, the author fixes you know, the, the problem. Um, so I'm going to load up the PAL version in the Amiga emulator and I'm going to play uh, the first level to show you what the you know what the game looks like okay so scroll down a little bit further here all right playing the game the downloadable Amiga digital version is an ADF file designed for use with an Amiga emulator. For best results, we recommend playing the game using WinUAE emulator, and that's what I'm going to do next. Um, I also plan on doing a, a complete playthrough of the game um, on real Amiga hardware, so stay tuned for that exciting content. Alternatively, use a suitable utility such as ADF to disk to write the ADF file to a floppy disk to play on real Amiga hardware. 
Like I said, I plan on doing that in the near future. Um, okay, minimum requirements, Commodore Amiga 500 PAL or NTSC. Uh, Kickstart 1.3. 512 kilobyte RAM extension. That basically means you need a minimum of 512K of fast RAM is what that means. All right, so now I'm going to um, load up the Amiga emulator and show you the game. All right. Let's load up Win UAE, the Amiga emulator. Okay, that's okay. I haven't added that Kickstart ROM yet because I usually, um, okay, I usually play it on. I'm gonna try it on Amiga 1200. Now it's set. Okay, the basic non-expanded configuration means a stock Amiga 1200, which has two megabytes of chip memory, but no fast memory. I'm curious to see if the game will play on that, but not on your guys' watch time. You know, so I'll go ahead and load up the configuration that I know the game will work. All of you should have at least that configuration on your Amiga 1200. 4 megabyte fast RAM expanded configuration. I have NTSC unchecked. Uh, because I've discovered that the PAL version actually looks the best and works the best. Um, now, I do, like I said, I do plan on playing this game on my Me 2000 computer this fall, actually. I plan on doing a lot of software content um, starting this fall and winter. Well, what, what my plan is for the, the Hans Campbell show from now on. Since the shop gets way too cold to do any work out there during the fall and winter months, I didn't want to make you guys wait until the you know spring of next year before you, I start you know creating new content for the Hans Campbell Show. So what I decided to do was during the fall and winter months, I, those will be software-related videos where I show you Amiga software. Uh, Commodore 64 software, uh, Atari ST software, Backtosh software, PC software, stuff like that. You know, the all software-related videos. Okay, because I can do that in my computer room, which is nice and warm and cozy. Now, during the spring and summer months, that's when I will do all of my hardware-related videos. So, you guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Uh, but so, yeah. So I do plan on showing this game, doing it like a playthrough of this game, on my Amiga 2000 computer because it has um, an RGB to HDMI board plugged into the video slot, and I have a really nice um, HDTV hooked up to the computer. And what I've discovered from doing some research that once a video is converted or rendered to digital format, and that's what HDMI is, it's a digital video format, then it no longer matters if the video is PAL or NTSC. And it should look really good. So I'm hoping that the game is going to look good and play well on my Amiga 2000 uh, computer. And what I'm going to do is yeah, I'll load up on this big HDTV and I'll aim the video camera, I'll zoom in where it's just basically the monitor. So it looks like it's, it's screen capturing, but it's not. And this way I can sit in front of my computer comfortably and use my Wyco bat handle joystick and just play the game and have fun. And you guys, you can hear me narrate or say funny things during gameplay, you know, I, I think it would be enjoyable. So yeah, stay tuned for all the all this wonderful content. But anyway, let's get going here. <laughs> all right, so we got that configured for your basic uh, Mi 1200 computer with four megabytes of fast memory, okay. I'm gonna select the image file. Uh, yeah, select image file. It's in my. I put it in my downloads folder. I'll select Doctor. I renamed it. Okay, Doctor Dangerous Pal. 
Okay. Open. All right. Then uh, I'm just going to double check my ROM, make sure I got my ROM in there. Yeah, 3.1. Um, display. Okay. So, okay, full screen mode is going to be native. Uncheck that. Uh, native, do full window. Okay, because I want it to come up in full screen. All right. Okay, so let's uh, let's start. <coughs> you take a sip of my coffee. My throat's getting dry. For some reason, it takes a while to load up. I wonder why that is. Scorpion Engine, free edition. Hmm. I bet you this looks this looks really good in, in uh, on the AGA chipset, like on the MiG twelve hundred. And I think this game will look really good on a CRT monitor. I am going to try that. Okay. So. Let's uh, see who made this wonderful game. I wonder if that's the same guy that created the music for Shadow of the Beast. Because it sounds very similar. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's start the game, shall we? Loading sector. Alright. Loading it, people. Loading it. There it is. Hey, that doesn't look too bad. Press the fire button. Alright. Press fire again. Alright. The title of music is kind of loud. wonder if there's a way to like to turn it down a little bit. It is a little bit loud. Whereas the music during the game is not too bad. Yeah, um, I'm using the numeric keypad. The four key, you move left. The six key, you move right. The eight key, you move up or jump. And the two key, you move down. And then the zero key, um, you shoot or you activate. Now, this is a strategy game, you know, a strategy platform game. It's one of my favorite type of games to play, so I can't wait to play this on real hardware with a Wyco Command Bat Handle joystick, you know, because I'm used to playing arcade games like this with a joystick. But I'm, I'm trying. I'm, I'm showing you guys the game using the keypad or you know keyboard. So it's I'm a little bit slower, more sluggish with the keyboard. So bear with me, okay? So the four key we're gonna move left. Eight is to jump up. Now you, when you pick up a pistol, you only have one shot. But use that one shot wisely. Because if you don't, in certain situations, you will re have to start. You will have to kill off your player and restart the level. That's a word of warning. When you get that pistol, you only have basically one bullet. Use it wisely. Okay. So six moves right. Okay. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now, um, the zero key shoots that bastard. That's right. And shot that fuck. Okay, now I'm going to go up here. Okay, the, those buttons there, they open up the doors. When you see a button like that? Okay. So, okay. Hey, man. Now, if, if, if I'm reading this correctly, the object of this game is to fill up your battery by finding these energy, energy things here. Because if you look at your battery up in the upper left-hand corner, it starts out as all, like, orange-looking slashes, whatever you call that. As soon as they, they're all white, then you can, you know, go through the exit. I like the music. It's kind of cool. Yeah, the music is kind of cool. Uh, okay. I guarantee I can play this a lot better using a joystick. A lot better. Don't worry, that's coming up. Okay. Well, they do say white men can't jump. I guess they're right about that. <laughs> can't wait to play this on real hardware for you guys. That's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Now you need to write down those level codes. Well, so far, I do find this game very enjoyable. I think I'm going to love playing it on real hardware. Alright. Um, okay. This is where I died before. <laughs> So, let me see, how do I do this? Yeah. Alright. Alright. So I'm not used to playing with a keyboard. I'm not used to playing with a keyboard. Okay, see how I filled up the battery? Now I can find the exit and leave. Yeah, let's find that exit, people. Sector clear. Zapper has been reset. Press fire. Loading next sector. All right. So that was level one of Doctor Dangerous, a new game for the Commodore and new computer. It was released uh, this year, 2024, and I think it's a, a good game. Um. For now, from, from what I've seen so far and what I've experienced so far, I'm going to give the game 8 stars out of 10. Um, I want to wait till I, I do a complete playthrough on real hardware before I revise my rating for this game. But so far I give it a, an 8 stars, which is above average. I think it's a real nice game. Uh, I just wish, or I'm hoping that the author of the game, that he fixes the glitches that are in the NTSC version, because there are still a lot of people in the United States that own Amiga computers, and they would love to be able to play this game on their real Amiga computer, 
But here in the United States, we we are in the NTSC video standards, so yeah. Um, anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, my name is Hans George Gamble, and stay tuned for a lot more exciting content here on the Hans Gamble Show.